What's going on, YouTube? So sitting beside me is a very popular family three-row, the Honda Pilot. Now, if you follow the three-row segment, you'll know that there has been a lot of competition uh, recently with the Kia Telluride, the Hyundai Palisade. Honda is facing some very stiff competition with this all-new Pilot, and they finally have an answer with this 2023 model. So let's go ahead and take a first look review and see what this all new pilot is all about. So Honda says this is the most powerful and largest pilot. So let's go ahead and break down some of the design elements before we hop into the inside and see what this family three row is all about. Now, one of the big elements about this pilot is that it now has a squared off design. So we kind of had that squared off design two generations ago, and then we went to a more frumpy design and then now we back have the square design which I like and I think this looks a lot better than the previous generation pilot did. So up here in the front you're going to notice a very squared off black grill for the trail sport model. You'll notice that the Honda emblem is a lot larger than an um, the previous version, as here's my hand for reference, and then you do also have Trailsport branding since this is the Trailsport model. And this upper part is going to be a nice piano black, and it's going to actually go into the headlight unit itself. So for your headlights, you're going to have a reflector LED style headlight unit. We also have an LED turn signal. Uh, and daytime running light integrated in the unit itself. And then dropping down to the lower area, since this is the Trail Sport model, this is gonna be a more off-road capable pilot. So we're actually gonna have a skid plate for the Trail Sport, which is certainly a nice touch if you're going to be taking your family three row off-roading. And it is worth noting that we will have a full review on this pilot model coming very soon. Now that we've moved on to the side of the vehicle, since we do have the Trail Sport, we're going to have these more off-road focused wheel uh, design. It's going to be a nice gray finish. You have your little Trail Sport branding integrated inside of there, and you have beefier rubber going around uh, the tire itself. Now, of course, if you want to go for the Elite model, they do offer a flashier 20-inch alloy wheel that has a lot of contrasting elements going on. Now, for your wheel arches, we are, they are finished in a nice uh, rugged matte black plastic. And then we do also have a uh, piano black mirror finish, which I do like the contrast element there. We're going to have blind spot monitoring as standard equipment. Now, like I said, this pilot is the largest pilot they've ever made. It's going to be up 3.4 inches in overall length. So we're looking at 199.9 inches. So just that one tenth of an inch off from 200 inches long. So this is going to be one of the largest three rows in the entire segment. And I do want to point out just how square the vehicle looks from the side. It's very tall and it does have that very boxy design to it. We also have nice piano black on our door handles roof rails up top that are also going to be finished in that piano black. Now, working our way around to the rear design, uh, the rear design of this all-new Pilot has a very classy design to it. I, it's not super flashy, but I don't really think anything in the three-row segment needs to be super flashy. So, breaking down some of the design elements, we have a spoiler up top, and then we do also have our rear wiper integrated here. Honda branding is going to be silver, however, on this Trail Sport model, the Pilot branding and the uh, intersection between the two taillights is going to be finished in a PL black. As far as our taillights themselves, they are going to be partially LED. You have nice LED accenting. The brake light is LED, however, your turn signal and reverse light are incandescent. Drop down, you've got your Trail Sport branding, and we're also going to have a nice rugged uh, diffuser area for the Trail Sport model, as well as your tow hitch. All right, and let's go ahead and hop inside of this Pilot. Now this all new model is definitely going to have an all new interior design. So let's go ahead and break down some of those design elements. I'll allow Drew a second to hop inside this cabin so we can break down all the new technology and all of the new luxury amenities that Honda is throwing in for the all new Pilot. Now, one thing I didn't mention on the outside of this vehicle is that we do have all of your safety systems, as you would expect with any Honda product. I do think that's an important thing to mention in a family three-row like this, so that's going to be standard equipment on the Pilot. Now, as far as the interior itself, you're going to notice that same boxy design carry through to the interior as well. Just the overall look has a lot more squared-off finishes than the previous Pilot ever did. 
And uh, let's go ahead and dive into some of the materials. So up here on the upper part of the dashboard, we do have a nice soft touch plastic. It's grained very nicely. Then we have a nice leatherette going through the center with some orange stitching for the Trail Sport model. Your center console is going to be um, hard touch, but it does fit together very well. And it is worth noting that the Trail Sport is not the highest end version of the Pilot. You can still get that Elite model, which should spice up the cabin and make it a little bit more luxurious. Now for the Trail Sport itself, the seats are gonna be finished in a nice leatherette, orange stitching, and you do have Trail Sport in the headrest, which is certainly very nice. And let's go ahead and talk about some of the technology. So here in the uh, gauge cluster, you will notice that we have a half digital gauge cluster for the Trail Sport model. It's gonna be digital on the left side. You have your digital speed readout, and it does have some customizability, but it's not as customizable, of course, as the full digital setup that you can get. Now it is worth noting for the fully loaded Elite model, you do have a full digital setup for your gauges, which be a little bit more premium than this, and you're also gonna have a head-up display, which is certainly a nice feature that the Trail Sport is missing. And then coming back to our steering wheel, it's gonna be nicely leather wrapped. It's gonna be the same design that you see on a lot of the newer Honda products that we've shown you on the channel. It is also gonna be a heated steering wheel as well. Now, as far as other features, we have two-person memory seating, uh, here on the door trim and the door trim itself actually does have a similar design to the previous generation pilot I'm kind of surprised to see that it has a very similar look to it, but we do have a nice padded armrest now as far as uh, Interior storage, that's of course a very important part of any family three row product So let's go ahead and take a look at that So if we open up the center console, you will notice that we have a gigantic one. Honda really does storage better than any other brand out there. They are so practical. So you will notice that we have this giant center console here. We also have two cup holders in front of that. Then we're gonna have a wireless phone charging pad here on the left side, and then another pad to put whatever you want here. More storage there, two USB ports. We have a regular USB port, a USB type C, and a 12 volt power outlet. Now, as far as this area, you probably uh, are curious about this. We're going to have a nice uh, push button shifter. It's not going to be a traditional shifter like we've seen in the all new Honda Accord, but we maintain the push button style and we're also going to have our electronic parking brake and brake hold system. Now moving up from that to our climate controls, we are going to have a dual zone automatic climate control system. Of course, I can't turn it on since we are at an auto show here. Um, we have heated seats for the Trail Sport model, ventilated seats on that fully loaded Elite model. But let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. So this is the display that you're gonna get on the Pilot. This is the nine inch uh, display. And this certainly is a nice display. We've seen it in a lot of new Honda products, the all new CRV, the all new uh, Honda Civic. They all have this display. It runs wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. The resolution is very good and it is also very snappy performance wise. Now the base models will have a seven inch display. So you do have to get some of the uh, higher end models to get the nine inch display. Uh, that being said, we do not have the larger 12.3 inch display that you see in the all new Honda Accord. So that's a little bit disappointing. I'm not really sure why Honda opted to give the Pilot, even in its fully loaded Elite trim level, uh, the smaller 9 inch display as opposed to the 12.3 inch one that we see in the Honda Accord. We actually just sampled it out and it's a very snappy performing system. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I would expect that Honda would update that uh, very quickly, maybe in the next model year or so. Now coming up to the uh, mirror, it is going to be auto dimming. We have three home link garage door openers. And let's check this out. So certainly something that we always got complaints about in the previous generation pilot was that it didn't have a panoramic moonroof. Well, now we have a full-size panoramic moonroof and it looks really, really nice. It makes the cabin feel open and airy, goes pretty much all the way into the second row. Now checking out the second row of the Honda Pilot, of course, this is a family vehicle. So this is a very important part of this product. We're gonna have more room than the previous generation model had. So certainly a lot of space and a lot of comfort. As you can see, we have the captain's chairs on this model, but that's not all the cool features that the pilot has going for it. We actually have a removable center seat, just like you've seen in something like a Honda Odyssey on the pilot. And that's if you go for the touring or elite trim level. So um, a lot of innovation going on here. So you can kind of 
treat this Honda Pilot like you would a Honda Odyssey, which is certainly nice because the Honda Odyssey is one of the most practical family vehicles out there. Now, as far as some of the luxury features, let's go ahead and talk about that. We have nice vents here in the center. We have our own climate controls. We have a household style outlet as well as two USB ports. These are the charging varieties. If we look at our door trim, we are gonna have a rear window sunshade as well. Now let's go ahead and check out the third row of the Pilot. So they have retained the nice push button style in order to get back there. S seriously, one of the easiest uh, third or second rows to fold to get into the third row with this Pilot. So I'm glad they didn't change that with this new model. And then sitting here in the third row of the all new Pilot, you're gonna have a good amount of space. It's still not gonna be a class leading amount uh, in the third row, but we do have a good amount. I'd say this is an improvement over the previous generation of the Pilot. And as far as features, we do have vents as well as two cup holders on each side and a USB port. I know it might be a little hard for you to see some of those features, but like I said, we will do a deep dive into this Pilot coming very soon to the channel. Now, hopefully you're able to hear me. Uh, we did have a little bit of technical difficulties, so hopefully my voice is nice and clear, but I want to talk about the cargo department in this all new pilot because Honda says this is the best in class cargo capacity. We're actually going to have a maximum cargo capacity of 114 cubic feet, which is absolutely massive. So Honda has really knocked it out of the park when it comes to this pilot when it comes to the practicality forefront. Like I mentioned in the second row, you have that middle seat that can be removed and you also have so much space here in the cargo department, even behind the third row seat. As you can see here, if we lift up this part, we also have a lot of underfloor storage. So really Honda has always done a great job with practicality and that's gonna continue with this all new Honda Pilot. All right, guys, so like I said, we had a little bit of an audio malfunction, so hopefully you're able to hear me. I'm literally hiding in the middle of, I don't know where this is. We're trying to get as quiet as possible, but I wanna to talk to you about the uh, pricing and availability of the Honda Pilot because a lot of you guys own a vehicle in this segment and are maybe looking to upgrade. The Honda Pilot should be on sale in December of 2022, so that's next month. So this Honda Pilot will not be one of those vehicles you have to wait six months to a year to get. It should be available pretty soon. Now, pricing has not been fully determined yet for the all-new Pilot. That should be announced um, in the next few weeks, really, when the car is going on sale. But guys, if you enjoyed watching this in-depth review of the all-new 2023 Honda Pilot, we would certainly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. Like I've mentioned several times in the, this video, we will be doing a full in-depth dive of the Pilot coming very soon. So please stay tuned to the channel for that. And also follow us on TikTok and Instagram where we have other forms of content. Anyway, we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive bill.